Hey guys, so it's DIY Wednesdays and we're going to be doing something with our hands for our hands. Han from Ahan Barbie sent me a message a couple of weeks ago on Facebook asking me to do a DIY on this photo, which is a photo of Carly from Carly Christman wearing this dress and this really awesome hand beaded thing. I, in my head, registered that she wanted me to DIY this hand beaded thing. After rereading the message, it basically wanted me to DIY the drape dress. I basically fulfilled a request for the wrong request. Uh, anyways, I plan on doing the dress later on because it's easy and it's fun and simple. So it's gonna be me being a little bit obsessed with Carly Christman for a while with her hand beaded thing and then also with her dress and maybe hopefully there's someone out there who wanted to tackle this project but didn't know how to go about it and now they have a tutorial and I'm here for you because it's solid okay so we are going to start off with some seed beads and some glass beads and the glass beads are slightly larger than the seed beads you'll also need some tube like beads or any beads that you think is long enough to connect everything together for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a beading needle. It's thinner and longer than a regular sewing needle and it's able to pass through the small opening on a lot of the seed beads. Aside from thread and scissors, it would be super helpful to have a block of wax. So to prepare our thread, feed some thread through your needle and then run your thread through a block of wax. You can use candle wax if you have that instead, but this helps slick all of the fibers down on the thread, reducing it from getting tangled when you are beading. Think of it like smoothing down your baby hairs with some kind of hair product. Okay, I dump some beads down onto a flat surface and all I do is pick up three seed beads and then a glass bead. I follow this pattern until I can wrap the strand around the widest part of my palm and that is usually a little bit under the thumb. If the amount around your palm has an even amount of large beads, then you are fine. If it has an odd number, then go ahead and add one more set of three seed beads and one large bead. This helps even out the pattern and will make connecting the strands together less confusing. Tie it up to secure and take time with this because a broken thread is the worst thing ever when you're beading. Try it on to see if it fits comfortably on your palm. Now you are going to repeat that four more times, meaning if the first strand had 25 sets of three seed beads and one large bead, then go ahead and do that to the other four strands. Next, you are going to make the two circles that fits the upper half of your palm and it will slightly be smaller than the first five strands. Again, keep in mind that if you end up with an odd number of large beads, add another set of three seed beads and one large bead to even it out. When you try it all on, you should have a total of seven strands on your hand and this is the general shape for your gloves. We are going to connect the upper two strands first and to connect them, I'm going to use my two beads. I'm going to tie my thread that is already attached to my needle onto one of the smaller strands of the beads. Trim off the tail from the thread that is not connected to the bead. Now slip the two beads onto the thread. If yours are longer, then just use one. If it's small like mine, then use two of them. Place the other strand of beads parallel to the first one and slip your needle through one of the large beads. Pull it tight and now you can see that it's kind of connecting the two strands. Put the needle through the tubes again and pull tight again and this time we are going to feed the needle through the first bead again and it's going to come out of the third bead. Now this bead will be your new starting bead. So slip two more two beads onto that thread. Feed the needle through the bead that is across from it and pull tight. Now that it's connected, feed it through the tubes again. And when you start feeding it through the starting bead, remember to pull it out on the third bead. This will be your new starting bead and go ahead and add two tube beads and keep repeating these steps until you have gone all the way around the bracelet. The reason why I told you to have an even amount of large beads on your loop is because of this step. You don't want to have a tube bead on every other large bead and then when you reach the end, realize that you still have two large beads left over and it's not uniform throughout the bracelet. For the lower five strands, I just connect all five strands together using the exact same method and I just went ahead and made sure that I had my two bead alternating every other large bead. 
tie another piece of working thread onto the smaller part of the gloves. Put on your gloves so that the large piece is at the bottom and the small piece is at the top with the thread on the lower portion of the smaller piece. Rotate it so that all the two beads lines up. I feed my needle through to reach the large bead that doesn't have a tube bead attached to it. Feed some tube beads onto that thread. Next, feed the needle through the bead across from it. Then take that and feed it back through the tube beads. And lastly, take the needle through the beginning bead and pull it out the third bead. This is exactly like what you have done before, but now you're just connecting the two pieces together. So now this bead will be your new starting bead and you are going to repeat these steps until you have connected the top portion to the bottom portion of the hand glove. A quick tip is that you don't want to connect these two portions all the way around. When you reach the middle of the underside of your palm, just go ahead and tie it off. This way you have a space for the thumb. And ta-da! Some pretty neat hand gear. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit hard and maybe next week I'll come up with something a little bit simpler for you guys. Remember that my videos are uploaded every Wednesdays and Fridays and if you think that this is so cool of a DIY and I should do more of something like this, go ahead and like this video down below. Support me by subscribing because this little soul was so lost for the last couple of days trying to put this beaded bracelet together. If you guys are going to try this out, remember to shoot me a photo to my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter and always hashtag it with S-L-O-A-B-A and I will feature you into my next DIY video. I also vlog my journey through making this DIY from buying the beads to picking up books for it. Kind of like my little journal and diary about my DIYs. So you can check out that vlog here and I will check you guys out later. I normally sign off with my right hand but I'm gonna sign off with my left hand because it has the cool beaded hand glove thing. So rock on DIYers, bye! So when I was in 8th grade, we were in the library and this really popular girl started to eat something. And I looked at her and I was like, Melanie, what are you eating? You can't eat in the library. And then she's like, oh, I'm having some robin eggs. Robin eggs are these little round eggs and it has a hard candy shell and inside it's like a malted milk crunch thing. And it just looks really delicious. And I was thinking to myself, should I ask her for one? And if I ask her, I don't want to look like I'm a beggar, you know? Then I thought in my head, maybe I should get her in trouble by telling the librarian that she's eating in class. But I didn't want to come off as a narc either. So I just sat there and stared at her eating her robin eggs. I think I kind of made her uncomfortable because she stopped eating afterwards. So today I went out and bought a bag of Mighty Malt, which is, I think, not the best version of the robin egg, but same similar concept. And now that I'm eating it, I'm thinking, haha, look at me now, Melanie. I can buy all of these malted eggs as much as I want and you can't do anything about them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should not be trying to relive your weirdo childhood dreams. Remember to check out last week's videos if you missed them. And remember guys, I love you all and take care. Bye. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to take down. There's a monkey behind me. I'm so frustrated because I've been working on this hand beaded glove thing for almost two days. I started on... I think... Oh no, I started on Friday.